Hello. In this video, you'll see how to use the Whisperer speech to text model from OpenAI and production grade AI ML pipelines. We won't focus too much on the data science and research aspects of the Whisper model, but rather on how it can be used in the context of a broader data engineering pipeline. While the pipelining concepts are relatively portable to different frameworks, we will use Kubeflow as our example of choice, which is an open source ML toolkit that runs on Kubernetes. We will be deploying to Vertex AI, which is a managed and serverless approach for running these Kubeflow pipelines. In addition to this being a resilient, scalable, and performant way to run the speech-to-text model, it also allows us to use a wide variety of other supporting services from Google Cloud. At the end of the day, AI, ML, rarely stands purely on its own and needs to be connected to applications, services, and data platforms. The flexibility and extensibility of Vertex AI is particularly valuable in this regard. With our goals defined, let's set up the Whisper model and run it in a Vertex AI pipeline. We will use the Cloud Shell IDE for setup, simplicity, and we'll share the Git repository in the description of this video. We will need a Docker file, some Python code, and a requirements file to operationalize this component in our Kubeflow pipeline. We will also use the JAX framework for this deployment, which shows a lot of promise as far as performant AI ML is concerned. In our main Python file, we'll need a few things. Let's start with setting up the core workflow of the package. First, we will parse arguments for the Python script, specifically obtaining an audio file to transcribe and a location to store the audio file after the transcription is complete. We will download the audio file from Google Cloud Storage and use the local copy to perform the transcription. We will time this operation and once complete, we will upload the transcript text file back to Google Cloud Storage, thus completing the script. To accomplish this, we need to create two functions, one for copying the file locally, GCS copy local, and another for copying a local file back to Google Cloud Storage, GCS copy remote. Additionally, we'll need to import the Google Cloud Storage Python SDK and specify this package in the requirements file. Next, we'll use a popular Python package that builds the Whisper speech-to-text as a Flax model on top of the JAX machine learning framework. This package takes care of the complicated steps involved in pre-processing the audio, such as setting the correct sampling rate and making any necessary conversions. It also handles the parallelization across the hardware accelerators, a task that the JAX framework excels at. We can find this package on GitHub, where it has gained over a thousand stars. Using it is quite simple. We will follow the pipeline usage example, which instantiates the pipeline and runs the transcription on a local file. While your use case might be more complex, to keep this video succinct, we'll not focus too much on the code level of defining the machine learning model. Instead, we'll use the model in a turnkey way and concentrate on how to operationalize it. Next, let's set up our Docker file. We will use a TensorFlow image that includes GPU libraries for convenience as it has many essential components needed to run this model. However, it also has additional components that may not be necessary, so you may choose to create your own image for production workloads. Alternatively, you can consider signing up for the JAX container that NVIDIA is working on as an early access option. For now, we'll keep things simple by setting up a working directory and installing some system packages. The FFmpeg library, a popular open source project, will be installed at the system level with apt for pre-processing the audio file before transcribing it. This library is part of the pre-processing work that happens within the Python library we imported for running the Whisper model and JAX.
We will then copy the requirements file and install those requirements. Next, install the JAXLib with CUDA to enable GPU capabilities. We will use an unconventional pip installation and install the Whisper JAX package from the Git repository we examined earlier. Since this package is not on PyPy, we need to install it like this, which installs it from the master branch. Finally, we will copy our code and set up an entry point that uses Python to run the main file code. This Docker file yields a Docker image that can run on any infrastructure or platform supporting containers and hardware accelerators. Now, let's move to our Google Cloud Shell to set up a location for our Docker artifacts. We will use the Artifact Registry service for this purpose. If you haven't used it before, enable the API. With the API enabled, let's create a Docker repository in the US Central One region. After fixing a minor typo, we can click on the setup instructions to obtain a command for authenticating with this Docker registry. In the IDE, let's run the provided code and build an image, then push it into the repository. Keep in mind that if you're using Cloud Shell, it uses the authentication from your console session, so you may need to click Authorize. Once the image has been pushed to the repository, it will be much easier to use in our pipeline. Now let's focus on creating the pipeline. As we operationalize this, we will need a Google Cloud Storage bucket for test files. Create a bucket with default settings and then bring in an example audio file. This file is from the Libre Speech Corpus and is about 40 seconds long. Returning to the IDE, we can create a pipeline configuration through a Python script. This script, using Kubeflow pipelines, will compile the pipeline as a JSON file. This approach is preferable to writing the pipeline on your own, as the SDK provides control and guidance to ensure clean and efficient pipeline creation. Our pipeline has one task, which is a container task. The container component allows us to specify an image and some arguments. We want to provide the audio file for analysis and the output file for the transcript. Specify the bucket name in the file and for simplicity, define it in the pipeline run specification. Returning the pipeline task, we can define additional controls around it. In this case, we have a custom component that requires the FFmpeg library, so we demonstrate a high control way to run the pipeline using the container component. Specify the project and repository as well as the accelerator type and limit. With the JAX framework, we can maximize the value of hardware accelerators. Run some pip commands to install Kubeflow and use the version 2 library by specifying the pre argument. Version 2 runs well on Vertex AI pipelines, and we recommend using this version of the SDK. Refer to the SDK API documentation for further details. Next, run the pipeline.py and save the output as pipeline.json. 
This JSON file, which could be written manually, is more easily and cleanly generated through Python. Download the file and run it on Vertex AI. Be sure to enable the APIs if you haven't used the service before. With those APIs enabled, go to the Pipelines page and create a pipeline run. Select the JSON file and it will pick up on the configuration. For the output directory, use the WhisperJax pipelines bucket at the root level and submit the pipeline. Occasionally, you may encounter errors if you've just freshly enabled the API. Click into the job to see the details. With the task running, you can now open up the logs in a new tab and stream them to get a nice interface for watching the job progress. The transcription completed with 137 seconds of total processing time. If you go to your cloud storage bucket, you should be able to see the transcript file. View the file in your IDE to see the transcription. In preparing for this video, we quickly explored the impact of accelerators on transcription performance. We ran basic testing on N1 high memory 8 instances, measuring transcription time with and without GPUs. Without GPUs, transcription took a little over 6 minutes, while with GPUs, it took under 2 minutes. This includes pre processing post-processing, and the transcription machine learning task itself, illustrating how accelerators can improve transcription speeds. When operationalizing this yourself, consider slimming down the base model used for your Docker image. Additionally, you can templatize these pipelines for more flexibility, such as with bucket names. Lastly, remember that using Vertex AI pipelines provides tremendous extensibility for tying in different data processing, data ingestion, and insights activation tasks. Our example here uses a single task in the pipeline DAG, but it could be much more complex. We hope this has been a helpful overview of operationalizing JAX models with Vertex AI pipelines. We'll be monitoring the comments section for any questions, and we want to thank you for watching.